Don't forget you all to like, subscribe, and share. We're just going to get started on your second reading of the night. You know, I usually do two to three uh, readings for you a night. So I want to spirit to come into this reading for the Earth and Virgo. Looks like some of the readings that I've been doing for you recently have been on self-discovery, uh, changing some things about yourself. The one I just put out tonight uh, before this was your, your efforts are under new management. So I hope you all take a look at that video, that reading. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Virgo? For Virgo? The star. You're not sure who you truly are, Virgo. Okay. Who am I? You know, what am I doing? What am I? It's like you're questioning your... Um, you're questioning your very essence. You're, you're, it's like you're questioning the very essence of who you are. Virgo is questioning his or her very essence. Okay. Ah, we got the Queen of Wands. You're struggling. You feel like I, I'm struggling. Is this is it is it is this the only thing I'm going to do for the rest of my life? Is struggle? How can I bring more income into my life? How can I bring more opportunities in my life? You're holding on to some ideas. You're waiting around. Honestly, you can't wait around. You're gonna have to get up and do some shit. You're gonna have to get up and produce. Okay. Um. So I'm about like a fruit tree. You plant a fruit tree. It won't. You won't be able to harvest anything off that fruit tree for like seven years. So go ahead and plant your seed, Virgo. What are you waiting for? For okay, plant your plant your fruit tree, okay, and and watch it bloom. You're gonna it's gonna take some work, okay. It's gonna take some work to get you to where you need to be, okay. But it it, it starts with you. You're gonna have to do some planting. You're gonna make sure you have to water that tree, fertilize it, do whatever it is that you have to do. OK, in order to see results, no matter what you do in your life, it's time for you to do something in your life that's going to produce results at a later time in your life. OK, if you've already been doing that, if you've already been planting and fertilizing and watching that thing take root, it's about to be that that effort has, has been going to be paid off. OK, because you're already in new management. There's already a new you coming about, coming afoot real, real soon in your life. And pretty soon everything's going to materialize for you beautifully because you're manifesting it. You're working hard at it. You are a go getter at heart. Very, very, very oriented, detail oriented. So you can make things happen here. OK. Finances. I'm, I'm, it's like you're daydreaming, thinking about money, thinking about the, how you want your house to look, um, thinking about the man or the woman you want in your life. You got so many things going on for you, so many different irons and you on the fire, so many ideas. And you're sitting around saying, look, I know what I want. You know, I know what I what I desire in my life, but how come it's not happening? How come I'm still single? I want to be in a different state, but all I think I can think about California, I can think about New York, Hawaii, Texas, uh, Missouri, uh, Chicago, um, Florida, wherever it is you want to go. It's just a mere thought in the back of your head. You're just thinking about it. Okay, the city's still there. The city's still gonna be there when you're ready to move. When you're ready to make that decision, but you're still sitting. So you're, st you're still sitting there. You're not moving. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything that's going to help you get to a different state in your life, a different location. You're just sitting there. What are you waiting for? Because you're struggling right now. I know I need to get up. I know I need to go and do something. But every time I take one step forward, I take st 10 steps back, literally back to the drawing board, back to that old motherfucking shack that I'm living in or that rundown house or apartment with neighbors who I can't stand on both sides of me or whatever. You just, you're sitting there waiting. But you already got the formula. You already got the formula, Virgo. You're just sitting there. You have already done so much. You have already manifested so much in your life. What makes you think you what makes you think you can't manifest this too? Like I said before, you sitting on your skills, Virgo. You sitting on your skills, letting everything pass you by. Watching everything pass you by, Earthly. Page of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. 
we got the tower here. You've been through the tower. I think we've all been through a tower moment in our life over the last couple of years, no matter where you are in your life. You've had something harsh to hit you. you it's conflict. It's mental conflict. It's the things that you're thinking about since you've been through this tower moment. Now it's like, okay, things are starting to get better. I know I need to put a little bit more effort into this. It's in my thought process. I know where ultimately I want to end up in my life. But damn, I can't let this energy go. I can't let what happened to me go, okay? It's happened. It's already over with. That's the past energy. This tower is in your past. You're still suffering from it. You're still healing from this energy, especially in your mind. It's a mind thing, Virgo. It's a mind thing. I don't care how you look at it. I don't care what it is you're going through. It's merely a mind thing. That's why you're having all those headaches. That's why you're having all of those traumas that you're dealing with. Some, I'm hearing somebody's even having some eye pain or something, possibly from a sinus issue or maybe get your eyes checked. Maybe you need some new glasses or something. Eye pain, that's a new one to me. But you don't want to listen to your intuition. You're still hung up in your head um, about some stuff that you've already been through here because we got the hangman and we got the five of cups. You're still just hanging around. Spirit is telling you, you got something going. You have some opportunities coming your way. You already know this, okay? Um, but you're not you're not listening to your intuition. You can, your intuition can bang you on the head like a drum. You still won't listen because you want to be stubborn, okay? You want to think that, no, it's not the right time. It's never going to be the right time, Virgo. It's never going to be the right time. You just got to... You got to put your to put your plan into action and just move. You can't cry over the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. I said that in the reading I did earlier. There are always other, other opportunities behind you that you have yet to see, but you have to get started on that path first. You have to. We got the lovers, the six of cups. So relationships from your past. Woo, we got the Harrowfit, the four of cups, and the ten of cups. Mm, separate. Nostalgic about a relationship in the past, just open up and say that you deserve more from somebody else. Okay, let the past then the past. If you realize that that's that not the person for you, if you realize your value and your worth, you be true to yourself. This was a toxic energy. Um, you didn't want that relationship, but it ended anyway for the for for your benefit for what was best for you. You may not have seen that, but hopefully by now you've realized like, yeah, I need to grow up and, and move on away from that person's energy. And when I do, I have a lover, I have a heroine, I have stability with in celebration with the four of ones and I have the 10 of pentacles. I have a serious connection relationship, a serious connection coming for you. That's going to be a lot of equal give and take between the two of you. So don't knock it, Virgo. Don't knock the true you. Don't knock the true you, Virgo. All right. We have the three of circles, 34 circles and 38 repair. Clarity begins at the eye of the storm. We have that tower moment already. That tower moment taught you a good lesson. What lesson did you learn from that tower moment? There was something that you still should have gotten out of that, even though it may have hurt you, even though it may have shocked you to no end. God damn it. There was something that, you, that needed to be done. Okay, we have repair. Making amends rather than the fun rather than fun times reveals a relationship's true constitution. Who was there for you when you really, really needed them when you were going through that tower moment? You had a couple of people who was there for you, your ride or die. They were there for you and they were able to help you to repair that which was broken in your life. Gotta give them props. Give people credit where credit is due. Okay, these new cards are thick. Okay. Wishful expectations. Now acknowledge the smoke and mirrors in your life for what they are. Acknowledge the smoke and mirrors in your life for what they are, Virgo. What happened to you when that tower moment blew up in your face? What happened to you after? What happened to you during? Are you realizing that that was that opening when you had that tower moment, it helped open some doors for you. It helped open out some windows and help air it out your dirty laundry, whether you wanted to hear it or not, whether you wanted to see it or not. It helped also air out the dirty laundry of people around you. Okay. Acknowledge the smoke and mirrors in your life for what they are. What truth did you get out of this? This, this clarity. 
this box office moment in your life? What did you get out of this? Did it help you? Did it help ease your pain? I heard that song, how, how can I ease your pain when you know you're coming back again? You keep letting this person back again, you're never, your pain is never going to be eased because you keep going back to trash, all right? <laughs> My mother would always say, that they got gold on the end of there, you know what? Radical self-acceptance. You are perceived the way you perceive yourself. If you don't think highly of yourself, who else will, Virgo? If you think that you're the dumb diggity dig, the dumb diggity diggity, the shit times 10, somebody else will too. If you won't, won't respect you, how do you expect somebody else to respect you? All right? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Pull those titties up, find a nice bra, grow some big balls, and move on. Go from there. Okay? Show yourself. Because there, is, there are people who, who really like the way you look, okay? Responding and not reacting. The only control we have is, on, is in how we respond to the hand we are dealt. The only control we have is in how we respond to the hand we are dealt. How are you responding to what's taking place in your life? How are you, are you drinking? Are you... Uh, sexing? Are you um, overeating, overreacting, hot-headed, smacking people around? What? How are you responded because of what took place in your life when you were a child, an adult, or whatever? You had something happen to you that was, wasn't so right. How are you contributing to your own stress or your own healing? It's up to you. Inner life. Your inner life is a garden to be cultivated. Mm. Your inner life is a garden that needs to be cultivated. What did we say earlier in this reading about planting, planting trees and watching those fruit come out seven years to harvest? See how everything falls in line at perfect at the perfect timing? And what's four plus three, four, five, six, seven? Wow. Your inner life is a garden that needs to be cultivated, Virgo. Cultivate your garden. <clears throat> cultivate your garden and be prepared for your harvest. Okay. Cultivate your garden and be prepared for the harvest. All right. Wow. 